No two snowflakes are alike. Fact. Okay, technically, it's extremely unlikely that two complex snowflakes will look exactly alike. But what might not be as factual is the information that our radars have been providing about snowfall rates. And the reason has to do with the very fact that each snowflake is unique. First of all, let's talk about how meteorologists actually measure how fast snow is falling. A radar sends out radio waves that bounce off the falling flakes. By measuring the amount of radar reflectivity, or how much of the radar signal bounces off an individual snowflake, scientists can determine how fast the snow is falling and thus accumulating on the ground. The radar re reflectivity is affected by different snowflake properties, like the mass of the snow crystal, and this is accounted for in most meteorological models of snowfall. But other variabilities like aspect ratio, differences in width and height and shape between each flakes is not accounted for. Well, a new study has found that by not counting these other properties, snowfall rates could be off by more than 50%. As the lead author of the study out of the University of Utah put it, if you assume every snowflake has no variability, you assume that every snowflake has the same size, shape, and orientation. You basically assume that one snowflake could be representative of all the snowflakes in a snowstorm. But as everyone knows, every snowflake is unique. So the snowfall rate governs how much snow accumulates on the ground. And getting it right is just as important to the people that have to try and commute around in it. It's also important for everything from avalanche mitigation to water resource management. The authors of this new study used an extensive set of high resolution snowflake images to get a better look at individual snowflakes. And then they calculated how much radar reflectivity would be affected by the observed variability in each of these snow crystals. And that's when they found that failing to account for these differences could affect radar by more than 50%. Snowfall rates are already tricky to nail down from a meteorology perspective. Topography, temperature, wind can all change how much snow is sticking to the ground over the course of a few blocks. But if we want to try and get really accurate, we ultimately need extremely sensitive instruments that can account for all these different properties that make each snowflake one of a kind. I'll let you know when I've got that special machine. And now you're Science Smart. If you have a science question, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.